are you okay with, I don't know how else to say it, but irrational ideas. Can I just give you an example again, you know, um, uh, I don't know, about three weeks ago, you know, I, I live uptown and uh, you know, my, my mother lives over here, 81st Street. Uh, she's, you know, in her 90s and I, and, I, and I called, she's always home, she doesn't really go out without me. I called, the, you know, the answer machine picked up, she didn't answer. I called again, she didn't answer. I'm starting to like really freak out. So I, I get in the taxi cab and I'm racing down to 81st Street and I'm telling you, in that taxi cab, I was praying to God that she would be okay. And I'm praying to God and I know that there, I do not think there is a God, okay? This is a totally irrational thing that I'm doing. Let me just quickly say, if you're there, I'm sorry, all right? If you're, you know, I just got to hedge my bets, you know? It's a conversation here. I'm just sort of saying how I feel. Uh, so, so, but I'm like really, uh, uh, praying and, 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 and when I got there and everything ultimately was fine, um, it, it, it felt like, you know, a, a small miracle to me. Now, I don't believe in miracles. I believe that we're all bags of particles governed by the laws of physics and there's nothing else besides that. But at the same time, I find it useful to hold these irrational ideas in mind at certain moments and I don't give a shit that I do. Yeah, um, I get that. I, mean, I, I think I, I, I'll, I'll make a similar con confession. Um, I, would, I would hesitate to spend the night in a notoriously haunted house. I'm the faintest... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a good night, man. Uh, that but, is so... <laughs> but, but, I mean, we're both being irrational. And... Yeah. And... Um, uh, and, and and that is a sin. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> okay.